Rachel from The Sidekick, and today I'm reporting on Capo Student Media being nominated for a National Scholastic Press Association pacemaker. Capo Student Media is one of 28 finalists. It is a very prestigious award for Capo Student Media. Um, what does being pacemaker finalist mean to you personally as editor-in-chief? Well, since I've been on staff for three years, winning a pacemaker is such a big deal. Um, pacemaker comes from the National Scholastic Press Association, so um, all the high school newspapers who enter this contest from all over America are competing for the same award, and just to be a finalist is a huge honor. There's only 28 finalists. Um, and how do you think that you can take the staff to being an actual winner of the award? Um, I think that we all try to just put forth our best content, especially during this part of the year. We want to make sure that our stories are error-free. We want to make sure that we have the best quality photos and graphics. Just continuing to do what we always do, just being extra, extra careful and putting forth our best work. What does it mean to Coppell Student Media to be a Pacemaker finalist? It's a big honor to be you know, a finalist for such a big national award, you know, um, I just think that that's good to be um, in the same categories with some of the top, you know, publications around the country and kind of see what places are doing outside of, you know, the Dallas area. So knowing the criteria that they look for and knowing the level of you know, other websites that you go up against. I think it's a testament to the staffers uh, to be, you know, included in that prestigious group. How do you think the staff has worked to achieve this honor? Well, obviously very hard. I think you have to, you can't just kind of flip a switch. It kind of has to start at the start of the year, and you have to be, you know, newspaper I think is different because there's only six a year, whereas web is every day, literally all day. And it's changed here even in the last couple of years where I know they take you know, your social media activity into account. They take how interactive it is with your readers into account. So you can't really just do that you know, here and there. You really have to be consistent with it. So to be consistent, to do it that well, you have to be working really hard. So I really think that they've obviously demonstrated that by getting you know, named a finalist. So the 8th graders from the middle, middle schools are coming next week. What do you guys plan on doing when they're here? Well, we're really excited. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have three rotations. Uh, the first rotation will entail them in the auditorium with the counselors to discuss House Bill 5 and the registration process for these incoming freshmen. Uh, the second rotation will be tours where they're able to actually see a majority of the, the school. Uh, be able to ask questions of the Red Jackets. And then the third station will be in the lecture hall where we'll have a freshman panel um, asking questions, common questions that 8th graders would have to definitely overcome some of their fears and doubts uh, of the uh, high school that they're about to attend. And I think it's going to be an exciting time. I think it's going to be an enjoyable time for everyone involved. And we're looking forward to having our new learners into our hallways. Hi, I'm Caroline Carter here with senior Emily McIntyre at Coffell High School. <laughs> Emily's a theater student here. So Emily, the theater department has been very busy. What's been going on? Well, right now we're doing our UIL one act competition play and that's Out of Sight, Out of Murder. And it's a comedy, it's very fun. This is actually the third time that we've done it here at Coffell High School. Um, I actually was in it my freshman year but I played a different role. And uh, so basically with UIL competition, um, we have 40 minutes to do a play, and either it's like a one-act play that you just take from the list of approved plays, or you can cut your own. And that's what we did. We cut our own play, and we have 40 minutes to do it, and seven minutes to set up um, our set, and then seven minutes to take down the set. And it's really fun. This is my third year doing one act mm -hmm. here at the high school. And um, it's really great, you know, competition. And it's really fun to meet new other schools mm -hmm. and uh, get to know other kids that do one act as well. 